Hello, this is Jake of the Forge Hub Video Crew, and today we have another scripting tutorial for you. This is the Switcheroo Static Timer. This can be used for weapons, anything really, weapons, vehicles, objects, but mostly it's kind of useful more so towards power-ups. So in this situation, we are creating a staggered power-up timer. So one spawns, then on the next respawn, the other one spawns, and then on the next respawn, the other one spawns, and repeated it just does every other. So if we pick one up here, and then pick this up here, and the respawn is every 15 seconds. So in 15 seconds, the um, uh, based off the static timer, the invisibility will spawn, and then in this case, overshield was the next power up. So we got overshield, then in the next 15 seconds, we would get invisibility, and then overshield, and then invisibility, and so forth. So we're gonna wait for, yep, here's invisibility, and so forth. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. All right, so here we are, and let's make this. So to start off with, on your first weapon you want, or power up you wanna do on the start of the round, you're going to need the following options. Firstly, you want to turn its respawn completely off. Uh, because you're gonna set its respawn by scripting. You can keep the despawn the same. Then go to the first script, put on timer, zero delay, and repeat. Uh, the repeat timer needs to be double the respawn time of your, of whatever you're trying to spawn for the stagger. So say every 15 seconds, you want a power up to spawn. In this case, then we wanna bump it up to 30. If you, in a game, you'd probably have something like around two minutes and like have a one minute time, timer for the power-ups. And then you want to do action spawn. The second one's a little bit different. So on your second power-up, because of the stagger, you also need to make sure the respawn is off. But then go, if you go down to the first script and it's on timer and initial delay of five seconds despawn. And this is because of the glitch of objects deleting themselves when despawning. And it makes it most reliable because it despawns during the initial loadout camera kind of thing. So the second script is condition on timer. Then you want your actual respawn time for the initial delay, which in this case is 15 seconds. And then your repeat timer needs to be double that. So in this case, it's 30 seconds and then the action is to spawn. And that's it. That's all it is. So, thank you all for watching. This has been Jake of the Forge of Video Crew, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.